My name is Theo and this is part two of three for Kibo Med's uh, display of the model KX2600KV ultrasound machine. Uh, for this part we're going to go over some more of the features of the keyboard so if you want to come on in and take a look. We're going to start off with the area right about the trackball. So the trackball controls our cursor and that's essentially the mouse of the machine. We're just going to start in the middle and then go to the left and then come back and finish the right side. So these buttons and specifically focus is essentially self-explanatory. That adjusts the number of foci that you see on the screen. So we start off with one, you can have two, three, four, and we can adjust the height of those depending on the number. So with the keys I can move it up and down. And with the focus button I increase the number. So focus is basically helps you obtain a better image quality. If you have a lot of focus that sometimes slows the machine down for the frame rate because the computer is putting together a better image. Uh, from there, the other button that you're going to be using a lot is a waveform followed by an F. And this basically con controls the frequency that you're using for the specific ultrasound probe. Now with this machine you can adjust it from 9 all the way down to 5 megahertz in this setting. The higher the frequency, the better the resolution, but the less depth that you can see clearer. If you want to go really deep or for a really large animal, you'll decrease the frequency to a lower setting so that you can go deeper and still get good resolution. But it will not be equivalent to the resolution that you'd have on something of 9 uh, megahertz. Uh, moving along, there's another simple button. This is kind of like a zoom button. looks like a magnifying glass in my opinion. This will control your depth. So you basically use it to hit the depth all the way in or all the way out. And you can see the depth control here and I believe that's in millimeters so you'll come down it converts to centimeters and so you just zoom in if necessary for lesser depth if what you're looking at specifically is in the near field versus the far field so we'll just go back to the zoomed out setting moving along this button here is the screen within the screen that's our high resolution high zoom button so let's say you want to look specifically at a cyst or a fetus or something along those lines you will click and what happens is you'll get a small screen that screen uh, you can't see it here. Let me put some gel on our probe so we can see what it does. That screen, wherever you have it selected, will zoom in this specific area on your screen. So if you have a cyst or falco or an artery or a vessel, whatever you're looking at, and you want to do high resolution zoom, you can have the rest of the screen live and then just use this over the area and it'll always come up here. Okay? Moving along, this specifically, the D plus button, if you're doing a measurement, that will switch your starting and ending points. So if you're doing like an ellipse, a circle, something for the OB calcs or packages, or some or complicated measurements, it'll switch the starting point between points so that you can uh, pick and choose and adjust because sometimes it's a little trickier to get those ellipses on target for what you're looking for. Next, um, the set button, that kind of is our selection button. We're, we've used that a couple times. Everybody shouldn't have any trouble using that. We're going to jump over here to the other side. Uh, so what this does, this is another button that's really not used as much. It does something with frame correlation. So it puts images together faster, more of them together, so it sharpens the image or decreases the sharpness of the image. Something really you won't be using as well. Uh, another button that may be used at times is the... Uh, should we start again? That's okay. 